Marhaba, 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 marhaba. I want to ask you what happens when the song ends. Do we go back to sleep in our everyday realities? Life is art, think about it. How you handle your very existence is the art of living. This art, this collaboration, this process, this is where I found a second home. To some of us, this is where we found a home and in this home, we found our family. Alka Kind of uh, Eventual Mit Auders, uh, Make Eichen Gezichte of Ein Gezicht, and Word Ein Heel uh, Beeld Mit uh, Verschillen Formen, Verschillen uh, Kleuren and Gezichte. And I make uh, Ook Dana uh, Verbinden Mit Elkaar, Mit uh, Tau, uh, Eiser Tau, uh, Op Elkaar, uh, Om um, um Te Vast te, Op Te Plakken, Op De, op de Grote Moer, and We Kiezen uh, Mooie Plek, Bouten, and As I Say. And maybe they feel that it's their own eigen work. Safa is a beeldend kunstenaar die komt zelf uit Irak. Die ervaring van, van uh, in AZC met kinderen en zelf te wonen is heel erg belangrijk om te snappen. Oké, okay, dat is echt een plek uh, waar wil ik graag met uh, kinderen, met volwassenen, met bewoners van een AZC kunst maken. Dingen te maken. En dat is ook goed voor hun om te leren, of techniek om te leren. Dus dat is een, 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 een veelzijdig kunstenaar. Uh, die, is, die is heel erg goed in, in wat hij doet, maar ook, uh, ook maatschappelijk bewust wat dat betekent in, in AZC. Hij is, hij is in mijn ogen soms nog steeds echt een kind. En dat is een kracht. Uh, want hij kan gewoon die, die sleutel tot de kinderwereld krijgen van de kids. Ik leer van hun over eigen, uh, eigen dingen. Hun, uh, hun maken mooie dingen, fantasie dingen. Ik kan niet zelf doen. Hun maken fantasiewerk heel mooi. Niet alle kunstenaar kan deze werk uh, uh, die maken. Dat, dat, dat je komt in de wereld van kind. En uh, daar kom je niet zonder toestemming, vind ik. Je moet die toestemming van die kids krijgen. En dat kan hij. Uh, dus eigenlijk heb ik heb heel veel geleerd van de kinderen. Om te geduld hebben, om te, hoe kunnen wij uh, met, met de kinderen uh, opletten, om, hoe kunnen wij werken met de kinderen. Je wordt zo stil van, hè? van werken met de klei. Ja. Echt diep bezig zijn met, de, met de materiaal, met de klei. En dat betekent. Ik voel het gewoon dat ze echt hier aan nu leven en niet meer aan uh, problemen om me heen uh, gaan denken. En dat ze echt 100% uh, bezig zijn met eigen creatie, zeg maar, eigen kleiwerk. En dat, dat, dat hoorde ik ook heel blij van, want dat is de bedoeling. Als ze bezig zijn met klei, zijn, dan zie je niet meer dat druk kind. I did not ask to be born, but since I'm here, I'll do my best to live my life to the fullest. I deserve to smile. Matter of fact, they say I have a smile that goes from ear to ear. I believe in this. 
So I give my all to this. I must put a stamp on it. I want you to know I was here and that I left the mark. No one can take this away from me. This is where we come to challenge our fears. With great potential can come greater challenges. This art is my medicine for when I am ill. When the world says I won't, my art says I will. Miro is, it's almost like an orchestra that's just made up of loads of people from just all over the world. The name came about by different members just saying different words, so like, oh yeah, well we're all from Manchester, so we should be called something to do with Manchester, something. And I went, yeah, you know, we're all international, so we should be called something like international, something. And I was like, oh, well, we are, all of our music comes from different roots. So it should be called Roots something. <laughs> and likewise with the orchestra, it's the same thing. And we just realised that actually, you know what? Why don't we just call it Manchester International Roots Orchestra? We try to create music as a composition class in which everybody contributes with whatever they can bring in. So it's melodies, improvisation, uh, words as well. So it's, it's kind of a song, collective songwriting. Michael's role is to make sure, like, once everything's available, to make it into something that's great. And things like, you know, <laughs> should we try the harmonies? Yes. <laughs> I come from a very old musician's family. And when I say old, with a very old heritage, musical heritage family from Romania. As you know, probably Roma, actually one of their uh, strong uh, cultural um, heritage is that they pick up music from wherever they go. The challenge is very big because it's a uh, composition is very individual. When people are coming together with lots of ideas, one has to put them together and make it work. You know, Michael had to select the, gen the genres, select the pieces, which meant turning, around, turning away some people's pieces. But you can't shy away from having disagreements and vo vocalising your disagreements. So those kind of artistic decisions are quite hard and potentially quite hurtful, so you have to be really open. Um, and I think what we've all had to learn as an orchestra is how to actually compromise, including myself. And things will only get worse. These lonely bars will show the scars of lonely hearts that... If I did something my way, the general product would be something that I would, would come from, almost come from me and would only be conducted in a way that, that you can tell has my fingerprint on it. Because it's not completely my way, it's my way, Michael's way, and a whole 13 other people their way. It's, there's a lot of different fingerprints on the same piece of work. The output we have, it's very personal. And because it's very personal, that means we have a different sound and a different idea. That's the powerful, the power of working together in a collaborative fashion. Life, if you think about it, is a collaboration. These are the precursors to my creativity. Yes, it is a maze. This process is a labyrinth and the path is not often well lit. And so this is where we come together to make our own and very unique path. Knowing that there's something to work towards makes this all worthwhile. We all grow and develop at our own pace and co-creation naturally will allow you to see what are the strengths and weaknesses of others. But this is where teamwork comes in. Teamwork really does make the dream work. This is where we build each other up. Children love making music, but they miss the physical aspect, a physical aspect. And we thought, ha, this idea of kickboxing uh, fits very well with it. At first, Jos is going to make music with the children. And then I start working separately and uh, doing the kickboxing teaching. And after that, we let it mix together. This project uh, is uh, about Togetherness is about giving space and, of course, about creativity. Na, na. A creative process should evolve 
and that the children should be leading. A place where you, where you are safe, where you can be who you are, where uh, if you do something that people will look at what you're doing and take time to see who you are. Kickboxing and fighting actually is more like dancing. We want everybody to watch the person who's dancing and to, to, give, him, to give the person uh, the attention so he can grow and he can, he can feel safe and he can make mistakes and learn from the mistakes and you know, on and on and on. The artists we work with, uh, they need to be creators in the sense of uh, not having a certain expectation that is fixed. Maybe, maybe my style of music is not your style of music, and maybe you have some a totally different. Uh, maybe you have a new style, never nobody heard of. Children come up with ideas we would never have thought about. And I think it is mainly important to create a space for that. People-wise, space-wise, safety-wise, and structure-wise also. Because structure also provides safety. We have a program when we start in a day, a day program. Uh, we write it down, we talk about it, okay, and then we start. Every week something special happens and we, didn't we, we did not plan to make this happen, but it just happens. It never goes as we expected. <laughs> and we love it. <laughs> we, we have to shine, you know, so, so, so they can, so they can uh, uh, do the same thing. Smile so bright I could light up the darkest room. With a smile like mine, you would ask if there was any need for the moon. So we go with the flow. Where we will end up, no one really knows. I am ready to take on the world. To tell you my story gives me a sense of closure. This is how I can grow, each and every night. And in closing, I look forward to another day and another opportunity to welcome you to my life. the great god Odin riding through this forest ripping branch from bark. They all played with the different characters for weeks because um, there's nine characters in there and they all just sort of took different roles and played around and see which one suited them best. At any point the home office can call the family and say well you know you have to come in yeah you have to be detained and that's constantly a worry in the back of my mind. But I think it's really important for them to have the experience. We do quite a lot of storytelling. We listen to each other's stories and in that we get to know each other. No ending till we're done pretending. No sleep till the morning comes. And we don't know who's going to come through the door. Sometimes we have young people who have been there for the past two years, maybe three years, and new young people. So making sure that they feel included in that process and have that sense of ownership. It was really important. Calling them to say happy birthday or Merry Christmas or a text to say, are you okay? You know, and, and keeping in constant contact builds that trust. I feel like we all became like a little family. We all became close mm -hmm. and we all got to know each other. Like yeah. we all just love each other and we all like radiate each other's energy and stuff. They get their confidence self-esteem, a chance to perform in front of the public, and plus they like to invite all their family and friends to come and see them perform. We make sure that we have periodical sharings. Many of the artists that we're working with have not performed before, so it gets them used to having an audience in a kind of safe way, so that it's not a sudden shock at the end when there's 
400 people in this theatre all looking at them. Seeing that uh, transformation of somebody who's really shy but has the, the will to be creative and then coming out of their shell and, and performing is really heartwarming. You can feel the adrenaline and like everything rushing, you just want to get on stage. They love to have something to show, something to end. They don't like to just do something and for it not to be shown. So I think that that element is very, very strong. We all stuck to it and got through the rough days and the nice days together. So this morning, like we'd done a good like run through and then like during the day, it went a bit like slanted. But then when we come out, we actually like brought it off in the work off here. Process is something that's really important in co-creation. It's the strongest element of it. And, um, and for the young people, I think that's the bit that they gain the most. The performance is the cherry on top. This is our time to make a potion and leave an everlasting spell. The world will tell you that talk is cheap, so this is where you have the opportunity to prove them all wrong by making your words priceless.